Conway continues to grow and progress, but it's important that we also remember where we came from. And at the L.W. Paul Living History Farm, history comes alive. The success we have in this county today, uh, it started on a place like this. The farm is part of the Horry County Museum, but on a tour here you won't find velvet ropes and things behind glass. Instead, you're going to experience life on the farm as it was lived from the early 1900s to the 1950s. It's a one-horse family farm, which means it's about 20 acres, the perfect size for a family to live off of and be self-sufficient. In the early part of the 20th uh, century, probably 90 to 95 percent of the people living in this county, this is the way they live. And in every way possible, farm manager Wayne Skipper and volunteers make sure the farm represents life in that time period. It's a 365 day a year job, or for Wayne, it's more of a chance to pay homage to his roots. And being able to carve out a, a livelihood from a very small piece of land with the skills and the animals that they had. And it, it just gave me a, a greater appreciation for the way of life as we know it today. He grew up hearing stories from his parents and grandparents about living on the family farm. And now he spends his work day planting crops, tending to livestock and growing and canning food the same way his grandparents did it nearly a century ago. It's an ever changing day by day, month by month, season by season uh, way of life and it, it, it makes it to where it's always alive and it's, it's always interesting anytime you come. This is the L.W. Paul Living History Farm, part, part of our heritage here in Horry County. And while you can schedule a group tour or just come and visit almost any time, the best time to come out to the farm is on one of their special event days. The second Saturday in November, the workers on the Living History Farm will be busy making syrup. In addition to seeing many of them, you'll crush the sugar cane for syrup. You can also see volunteers demonstrate the skills necessary to carve out a livelihood here in Conway during the early 20th century. We'll have a blacksmith working in the blacksmith shop. We'll run the sawmill. We'll have someone doing some singing in the church. We'll have cooking in the house. I've been out to the L.W. Paul Living History Farm several times, and every time that I get to come, I see something different and I learn something new. But most importantly, I'm reminded of the deep roots and the heritage here in Conway and in Horry County and how beautiful the legacy is. In your community of Conway, I'm Storm Team Meteorologist Marla Branson for WMBF News.